Hello, this time we'll look into the most beloved pair of commands, the next and previous frame in symbol, or alternatively the next and previous keyframe. These are the commands that everyone falls in love with when they find out about EDAP tools. The shortcuts for these are shift plus dot and shift plus comma, and alternatively alt plus dot and alt plus comma. Now, everyone who's been familiar with Flash's way of navigating graphics symbol knows that the looping section requires you to type in a number if you would like to refer to a different frame inside of what a symbol container has. Say this could be a set of different mouths for lip syncing, or these could be different hand gestures, or eyebrow expressions, all kinds of things can be nested inside a graphics container. I've set this artificial example here just for the sake of our demonstration. So normally if I would like to refer to frame number 3, I need to type in 3 and hit enter. Then we can see 3 appear here on stage. What we've done with next and previous frame in symbol is that it allows us just via shortcut with a simple stage selection to go shift dot and just cycle through the contents of our symbol until we're happy with the image that we're getting or say mouth position or we can go backwards. So these are just a pair of commands that allow us to go back and forth through the contents of a symbol. The speed up during work is enormous. If I create an extra key here, I can just quickly go and choose a different frame inside this symbol. If we look at a real life situation, here's a hippopotamus happily smiling. I can quickly cycle through several different mouth positions just like this or like this or like this again. So this is the first kind of usage of next in previous frame and symbol command and the second usage allows us to quickly jump from key to key. Select a key on a timeline, hold down ALT and press DOT to go to the right and the, as you can see the playback head just jumps from key to key and we can go back from key to key. It's very handy when you would like to preview your animation as you're working with it and while you already have the tweens. Just a reminder, if you're in doubt about the shortcuts, you can always refer to EDAP Tools help file. Click on the specific item and you will get the most up-to-date information about the specific command from our website. Thanks for watching.